Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So since the water bottle flip is all the rage on YouTube, I figured I'd try doing something a little different and do it using mercury. As you can see, I've got two pounds of mercury already into this bottle here. But first, for comparison, I'm gonna start with just plain water. I'm gonna add a little bit of dye to it so it's a little bit easier to see. Here we go. Might even be a bit too much dye. Here we go. Now I'm gonna flip this. And then, and now I'm gonna flip it. There we go, first try. Now let's try the mercury. Hopefully that's not so heavy that it's gonna just bust the bottle open. Here it goes. Ah, stop. Did you, did you see that? <laughs> that was actually easier. So my friend from the YouTube channel Tesla 500 sent me this high speed camera here to try out and I figure why not uh, use it on this water bottle flip thing? So, let's uh, come around here. I got it recording. Canyon's on the shut off. And uh, let's uh, film the mercury flipping with a thousand frames per second. And stop. Excellent. All right, let's try the water. That didn't work. See, I'm used to throwing the mercury and it's heavy. So here is the high speed footage of both events put side by side. You can see that the water and the mercury act very similarly to each other, which makes sense because they're both liquids. Mercury, however, is much heavier. It makes the bottle slam into the wood much harder. It seems that only a small amount of fluid is rotated with the bottle. The rest of it sort of remains stationary in space until the bottle swings around and hits the top part of it, at which time some of the fluid is accelerated with the bottle thus taking away some of the momentum from the bottle's rotation. Then when the bottle falls down and collides with the wood, the original rotating mass interacts with the mass that was accelerated by the bottle and they cancel each other out, thus resulting in a net zero rotation and the bottle sticks. <laughs> it's actually really cool and I love watching the figure eight pattern that is formed. Of course, with mercury being as dense as it is, 13 times heavier than water, very little of it is actually required to cancel the rotation of the bottle. So it really doesn't make the figure eight pattern. It is cool to see the bottle rocking around as the mercury sloshes, but honestly, I think I like to see the water in the high speed better than the mercury because of the nice pattern that it forms. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like I said before, this camera was built by the guy who runs the YouTube channel, Tesla 500. He plans to start a crowdfunding campaign soon in order to have enough funds to mass produce these cameras. So if you want one of your own, I'd recommend going and subscribing to him in order to get updates. I'll put a link here and in the description. For a cost of only about $500, I think this camera is a really good deal. My other high-speed camera cost nearly $800 and it couldn't do nearly the frame rate. By the way, I am aware that Backyard Scientist produced a very similar video to this. In fact, earlier today, just after filming this video, I sat down at my computer and got the notification for that video. I suppose great minds think alike. It just so happens that after getting this camera, our first project was flipping mercury. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. And once you've watched it, you can come back here and tell me which one you like better. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.